Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 23rd, 2024 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, which gets it seen by more people. So thank you all so very much. I couldn't be here, and I wouldn't be here without you. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. Fantastic. Okay, we are crowned for this full moon in Sagittari Sagittarius. There we go. <laughs> On the 23rd of May, we are crowned with the Queen of Cups reversed. Now, this can mean, Spirit just said our emotions are all over the place. We can also be dealing with somebody with emotions all over the place. Queen of Cups energy is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Now we do have strong Neptune energy coming forward. Neptune rules Pisces. So there is a connection there. Things can be coming to us very intensely making us feel, you know, a little bit off balance. And we don't like that. We're Libra energy. We like things to be balanced and stabilized. So just being aware of that. Also, there can be emotions used, used against us. If you loved me, you would, you know, type of deal. It moves us then to the page of the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This being reversed can also mean that we have a bit of difficulty with Earth sign energy. We can also have a bit of difficulty with water sign energy. So if we have water sign energy in our chart, if we have Earth sign energy in our chart, this might be coming through a little bit intensely, a little bit overwhelmingly. So just be aware of that. It moves us then to the magician reversed. Okay. The magician reversed is that we're not seeing our own magic. We're not seeing ourselves. And that is going to be important. The magician is stand before the altar of your existence. See your passion, see your power, see who it is that you are, know what it is that you love and go for it, which sounds so simple, right? But don't we spend our whole lives saying, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to, you know, live my dreams? All this stuff. So the magician is as above, so you be so below, so you think it, so it becomes. And so we have to be very mindful about this because if we're worried, oh my gosh, I'm going to die alone, you know, type of thing. If we keep on thinking about it, it can come true. Like, you know, not, not to spook us all out, but I was just thinking of like things that we worry about, things that, you know, I hear all the time. And I myself have my worries and my fears. And I find sometimes like I just dive into them. They're like, you know, oh, I'm going to go into the swimming pool of despair right now. And so spirit is saying, be very mindful about that. Because we can even think, oh, by saying my worries and my fears and, and really focusing on it, I'm, I'm eradicating it. Well, we can also be feeding the monster instead of, you know, slaying, slaying it. So just being aware of that is going to be really important. It moves us then to the King of Cups reverse. So what's interesting is that we have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, soulmate connection, true love connection can be a little bit rocky right now. So being aware of that, or we can be like ships in the night, not seeing our soulmate, not seeing our true love, not seeing what's really important to us. It doesn't have to be with another person. It can be, I don't know. I don't know what it is that I love. I don't know what it is that I want. I don't know where it is that I'm supposed to be. We can have kind of like, I don't want to say a crisis of faith type of thing, because that sounds very religious and I don't mean it that way at all. That's not how spirit is showing it, but like a faith within ourselves, a sense of, but this is me. And we can be a little bit overwhelmed by that. It moves us then to the four of pentacles reversed. I know you're going to be thinking, Dane, they're all reversed. This is terrible. It's not terrible. This full moon is in Sagittarius, okay? In the Sab Sabian symbolism, okay? Which I am learning about, which is just so fascinating. The full moon in Sagittarius is, that, is, sim is symbolized by that of a child learning to walk. And though this may seem slow and tedious to onlookers, it is astoundingly transformative for the child. You know, it is, it takes tremendous perseverance, determination. You know, it is a milestone developmental stage that we are going through. And we're seeing that here within ourselves. We are seeing ourselves go through something that is absolutely transformative. And yet it has us questioning so much. You know, this is the four pentacles reverse, meaning that we can be questioning, you know, moving house or do I live here? Do I live there? How do I move forward? Where is it that I want to be? It might not be about the house at all. You know, it might be about 
feeling prosperous and successful within ourselves, feeling grounded, feeling stabilized. You know, there could be a whole bunch of things that are up in the air and we're like, why? What is going on here? So just being aware of that. And then we have our upright card, which is the king of wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This full moon is in Sagittarius. We are transforming ourselves. This moon is pushing us out of our comfort zone, kicking and screaming because that's how we usually leave our comfort zone. And we are finding our power. We are finding our passion. We are finding our fire. We are saying, this is what I want for my life. This is how I'm moving forward in my life. And there is nothing and no one that will stop me. This is a powerful time. This is a determined time. This is a focused time. This is an independent time. And this is a time where we are saying there is so much more to me than meets the eye. I just have to see it first. <laughs> you know, I just have to get there first. So let's see what spirit has to say. Now, if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading, please put a flower in the comment box below. A, a person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So good luck to everyone. And if you are interested in purchasing a private reading, a private personalized meditation or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. All right, let's see here. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. And here we have divinity. Yeah, that's why, you know, that crisis of faith that came forward, divinity is reversed. We can be having a hard time connecting to the divine within us, within ourselves. You know, that God's head that's hidden within us. When I was little, I was reading this book, okay? And it was a book of quotes. I loved reading books on quotes when I was a, a early teenager. And I know that sounds like a weird thing to say, but I remember reading this one story in this book of quotes that was about finding the Godhead within you. And it was in the age of when, you know, I don't even know where, where, where this came from because I can't remember, but it was the age of gods and they were all talking to each other and they were creating man. And I think it was the God of Abraham said, you know, where do we hide the God's head? And then all these other gods responded. And they were like, oh, up on the highest mountain. And they were like, no, you know, he'll climb the highest mountain. Man will find his Godhead. And they're like, well, in the deepest part of the sea. And they're like, no, he'll dive down into the deepest waters. He'll find his Godhead. And they're like out in, in space. And they're like, no, they'll, they'll, you know, learn how to go to, to outer space and they'll find their Godhead. And then one of the gods said within them and all the gods stopped. And it was, man will never look within himself to find his Godhead, to find what is the most powerful thing about himself. And that is what I'm seeing with divinity reversed. It's not going to be the outside world. It's not going to be in the outside that we find the most powerful purpose to us. It is within. And here it's, it's needing to see your divinity within you. And that is going to be so transformative and so powerful and so beautiful that it takes your breath away, but it takes a moment. Our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels is personal power. This is the solar plexus chakra. This is us embracing our solar plexus chakra. We're following our gut. We are embracing our personal power. We are moving forward in power, in distinction, in determination, in focus, and we are powerful beings. So absolutely embracing our personal power, seeing what makes us unique, what makes us different, also makes us powerful is going to be a very, very, very important thing. Our, oh goodness, <laughs> my singing bowl over there. I don't know if you heard that or not. Our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. This is a two of swords. We're very much thinking life needs to be all one way or the other way. So just be very mindful about this. We're like, it's down this road. It's down this road. This is the way it could be. This is the way it should be. And what we need to, to just be aware of is that there's different paths that can lead us forward that weren't made accessible to us before, or that with our limited vocabulary and understanding from the way we were raised, from what we, we had in our lives, you know, we didn't see it. So here it's don't pigeonhole yourself. Don't get blinders on and only see it one way. So just be very aware of that with the queen of cups reversed. This is... So what's coming forward is the Queen of Cups is a very mothering queen. It is the most feminine of all the queens and a very mothering queen. And we could be having a very difficult time with mothering energy or with a with the sacred feminine. So just being aware of that during this time is going to be important. The Queen of Cups is also 
somebody who is very emotionally manipulative, very much, if you love me, you would, if you love me, you would, you would, or, you know, knows how to kind of get our weak spots with what we love and really, and really tone in on that. So it doesn't have to be somebody who knows you very well. It's just somebody who's very good at emotional manipulation. So just be aware of this during this time, because you can't even feel inclined like to listen to this person or be guided by this person or think this person has your best intentions at heart and they have their best intentions at heart. With the page of pentacles, not the page, the knight of pentacles reverse. The knight of pentacles reverse is wanting things to move so much faster, especially financially than they are right now. So being aware of this during this time is going to be important too. With the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position, it's slow and steady wins the race. It's methodically moving forward. With this reverse, we can be very kind of like, we can want to take shortcuts with things and that's just not going to work. So just being aware of this, or there could be somebody around us who's like, oh, what about this shortcut? What about that shortcut? It's not going to work the way that we think it is, but we're going to be thinking any motion forward is better than standing still. But sometimes standing still is the best course of action. Think of a bear attack, which I always like to go to, because you would think you're supposed to run away from a bear, but you are supposed to stay very, very still. And if you're lucky, that bear will pass you by. So just being aware of that. With the magician reverse, we need to see our magic. We do. We need to stand before the altar of our existence, Libra, and say, I claim me. I claim my passion. I claim my power. I claim my gifts. They don't have to fit in with everybody else's gifts. They let me stand out. And this is what I am embracing within my life. With the King of Cups reversed again, the King of Cups leads by example. The King of Cups reversed leads by manipulation. And we're over this, but we do have a very emotionally manipulative energy coming forward in this full moon that we need to be aware of. And it's also it's also not being manipulated or needing to call out people who are emotionally sabotaging us. Okay. That can be a very big thing during this time. We might not need to call them out to their face. You know, though that could be very tempting. We might cause a big fight that we just don't want, but calling them out in our hearts, in our souls, in ourselves being like, okay, I got your number. I see you for the person that you are showing me right now. I get it. And you're not going to be able to weasel your way out of this. So just being very aware of this. With the four of pentacles reversed, things aren't as stable, as secure as you would like them to be. Things are up in the air. We can we can be told that our lease is going to be up, or we could be told that, you know, we're going to have to move for work, or we could be told, you know, even that we just don't feel grounded right now. Can be like, I want to move, or I want to do something new, or, 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 you know, a little bit of like frustration coming forward. Just know that once we start seeing us, once we, we, we rein in what it is that we want and how it is that we want to focus and build things, we're going to see that things fall more into alignment and, and stabilize a lot better. With the king of wands, fire, passion, tenacity, you know, determination, focus, it all comes forward during this full moon. And we're going to see that we are a lot more passionate. We are a lot more fiery. We're a lot more determined. We are a lot more than we thought we could be. We're really like embracing our stepping out of our shell, stepping into our fire energy, stepping into our passion and our determination and our, our focus energy. This moon is very closely linked to, to Neptune during this time. Neptune is, is Pisces energy. Pisces, you know, is a water sign again. So here, just be mindful that we can be having really weird dreams that, you know, our emotions can be very high, but also our dreams of what we thought things would be or how we thought things could be are coming forward very intensely during this time. And it might be knocking us off our game because it's trying to align us again with our soul's dream and, and why we're here. So just being aware of that, Libra. We then have our subconscious spirit message, which is inspired. We Are we feeling inspired? No, not really. We're, we're kind of feeling overwhelmed. We're kind of feeling a little bit lackluster. So just, just be aware of that subconsciously. We want to be inspired. We want to, you know, have that magic come forward. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of, not energy to be mindful of, our subconscious chakra energy is relationships. So as much as we might be having relationship difficulty, we do have a very open sacral chakra, which is fantastic. This is you know, in our relationships, in our day-to-day -day life, but also our relationship with 
ourselves. So this is our sacral chakra. It is our sensuality of being. It is also our creative energy moving forward. And it's it's being in a good relationship with you first. We tend to think, oh, I have to be in a good relationship with everybody else first. It's like, yeah, okay, you know, sure. But be in a good relationship with you first, Libra. And then the rest will follow. And some people you'll be in a good relationship with. And some people you'll be like, you know what? I tried, but no. And then moves us to our subconscious. Yeah. Energy to be mindful of. This is the sun reversed. So when the sun is is reversed, it's like there's a pause on something really beautiful that's coming forward. It is also a bit frustration because we're like, well, this is supposed to be a beautiful thing coming forward. I can feel it. I know it. But it's not necessarily going to be the way that we imagined it or with the sun reverse. It can also, you know, it, it's also taking longer than we think it should, than we feel it should. Our subconscious tarot message here is the seven of wands. And the seven of wands reversed is actually, you know, a really great card because we can feel like I'm always fighting. I'm always having, you know, to defend this, to defend that. And now we're starting to free ourselves and saying, you know what? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not engaging in this endless battle. I'm engaging in standing up for what I believe in, standing up for me, but not, oh goodness, that, that just fell, but not, you know, not have to have to, not having to always fight for people to see me and people to respect me and people to understand. I'm leaving that behind. You know, I'm leaving the endless battles behind and I'm choosing me. This is going to be a huge moon. This is going to be a huge moon, Libra, for choosing you. Because again, this moon is the revelations that have come from the intentions that you set. You, you sent out into the world six months ago on the 12th of December when there was the new moon in Sagittarius. You set up the cycle to, to come forward that would happen, that would come to a head on the 23rd of May. So this is now those intentions coming forward and you seeing yourself so much more clearly than you have in a really long time. All right. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love you all and God bless. So let's end this reading with well, with the meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that the meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Libra, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed moon. Bye.